Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Warno game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus installed in computer, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now in case if you're using Windows security, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. Now if you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here, you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. Open the Steam folder. Then open Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Now over here, you will find the Wano game folder. In my case, it's not there, but in your case, you will find Wano game folder over here. And just for example, I'll show you what to do. Now, once you open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now, once the game is added over here, launch the game. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. For this, go to Steam and then go to library. Now, make a right click on the Wano game and then select properties, go to the general tab, I'm sorry, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to add DX11 in launch option. So go to Steam, again go to library, make a right click on Wano game and then select properties. Under the general tab, here you can see launch option. So type in dash DX11 and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator. So, go to the Steam and then make a right click on the Warno game. In my case, I'm showing with another game. So, you make a right click on Warno game and then select manage, then click on browse local files. Now, this will take you to the game installation folder. So, make a right click on the Warno exe file and then select properties, then go to the compatibility tab. And then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Put a check over here, then click on apply, OK, and launch the game from the game installation folder. So just make a double click on Warno exe file and launch the game. Now, next step is to disable Steam overlay. So again, go to Steam, make a right click on Warno game, and then select properties. Uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. Also, close all the overlay application. So if you have Discord running on the computer, close Discord. Now if you have GeForce Experience running on the computer, close GeForce Experience. So make sure that you close all the overlay application. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Now click on Update and Security or Windows Update, and then click on Check for Update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So click on x86 and x64 version. Install both the exe file. Click over here. And once the download is complete, run both x86 and x64 version. Click on it. Now click on repair or install. You might see the install option or repair option. So click on it. Click on yes to allow. Run the second file as well. Now click on install or repair option. Click on yes to allow. Now let the installation complete. 
Now, once the installation is complete, make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to install media feature pack. So, if you have Windows N edition, then install media feature pack. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings, go to apps, and then click on optional features. In Windows 10, you will see an option which says add a feature. Click on add a feature. In Windows 11, click on view features. Over here, type in media feature pack. Now, in my case, I have Windows 11 home, so I don't have media feature pack over here. But in N edition, when you type in media feature pack, you will see media feature pack like this. Put a check on the box which says media feature pack and then click on next or install. And after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card, run the game on dedicated graphic card. So for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now, click on browse. And now go to the game installation folder. So again, open the game folder, Steam, Steam apps, open the Steam apps folder, then open the common folder. Now open the Wano game folder. So open the Wano game folder. This is just an example. Select the game exe file, then click on add. Now once the game is added, once the Wano game is added, click on options, select high performance, then click on save and then launch the game. Now the next step is to perform clean boot. For this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first, then click on disable all. In my case, it's grayed out. I already did it. In your case, it will be highlighted. So put a check over here, then click on disable all, then click on apply, okay. Now restart your computer and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have any overclocking application running, so if you have MSI after burner running on the computer, make sure that you close MSI after burner. So make sure this is not running. Also close Reva Tuner. So if you have Reva Tuner running, make sure that you close Reva Tuner. So close all the overclocking application. Also close all the background application. So close everything. Make sure only Steam and the game is running. The rest close everything including all the browsers now the next step is to launch the game in window mode so launch the game if you if you are able to launch the game try to play the game in window mode lower down graphic settings so if everything all the graphic settings is set to ultra or very high select high you can go ahead and select medium performance or even low performance and then check the performance now the next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so go to steam make a right click on one game select manage then uninstall now go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and after the system restart, reinstall the game to a different drive. If you have another SSD or HDD, try to install the game to a different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get your game running on your computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.